Look at this, there are 4,152 subscribers in my trading group and we're killing it. I got a few shout outs to give on my trading group. This person stated, signed up for VIP Elite, I took your suggestion, I doubled my money in less than a week. This person, I'm up $58,000 in 10 days. Chris, thanks a lot for everything. I'm three or four months in the group. I've turned $4,000 into 65 grand. 65 G's out of 4,000. It's more than 10 X, he more than 10 X his money in the group. This person, I'm up $10,000 in the last week. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where he's calling out breakouts, posts and charts, working together to trade this market. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading at all, nothing, you can watch these videos, you'll be making profitable trades. Number one reason why people join my trading group is I post profitable trading setups every single day and we've been killing it. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months in crypto, you get a 20% discount. You pay for the year in crypto, you get an additional month for free and a 30% discount. If you do want to pay with a card month to month on a monthly basis, you can do so. There's a Patreon link that's in the description. This is Tezos up 72%. You can see here's the setup posted. Here's 52% out of link. Again, bought the breakout down here. Here's the setup. Here's Ethereum, 57% gains out of Ethereum. Here's the setup. Bitcoin at cash broke out 60% gain to over time. I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto daily. Before we jump into this video, I want to ask you guys, smash a like button for me, subscribe to the channel, jump in right into the market today in crypto. Bitcoin pullback 28%. This is a weekly chart. When we think about 2017, where we had retraces of you know 20%, 25%, 30%, 33, 34, 38%, one pullback 44%. Normally, let's say this was an altcoin pump, you'd have really deep retraces. You'd be looking at 618 Fib level, uh, 786, all the way down here. With Bitcoin, uh, this this blow off top back here, we had at Bitcoin when, when Bitcoin hit 20,000, was a little different. This is the end of the bull market, so we're not there yet. So the, the, we have to speculate. This is one of those pullbacks we had in here, where Bitcoin's going to pull back and essentially maybe consolidate for a little bit uh, and then continue higher. Is there more downside? We're gonna look at this idea. 28% pullback is pretty significant. People took profits. You know, I think a lot of people spent all day trying to figure out why this sell-off happened. You didn't lose money, people took profits. Bitcoin is still overbought, still overbought. You've got a, a stochastic bearish cross, but it still hasn't left overbought levels either. This is the Bitcoin one hour chart. So reversals happen on the lower time frames initially, but you get a lot of fake outs, a lot of what you think could be a reversal, but doesn't necessarily equate on the equate to a reversal on the higher time frames. And so at its core, the, the reversal starts here, but doesn't always, uh, you don't always get continu continuation on the higher term time frame. So this is what I'm looking at though, for a reversal idea, or is it? this is a falling wedge. Bitcoin has broken out of this falling wedge. So we were, Bitcoin essentially put in a double bottom down here at 30,000. Now I want to show you this level. Bitcoin previously ran up from 20,000 to 34,500, 34,600. And then you can see Bitcoin got rejected. You remember this, you had a pullback from 34,000. There was a dip actually all the way back down to 27,000 when this happened. Okay, so pretty big pullback, right? Now, here you are. You've got this level is the same resistance that rejected this price action here. And we're watching this level. So the bulls really need to break above this level and it would be even more bullish to see a retest and then continuation higher. Remember, full blown bull mode once we break 42,000 again. So we're collecting data right now. You know, a lot of people were like, well, where are we going? Where are we? You have to take it level by level. I'm, I've got some amazing shout outs in my, in my trading group. This person made $70,000 on a 20X Bitcoin long. This gentleman has been in the group for a couple years. 
and good friend of mine, he missed the last pullback. But this time, he was able to tether up while he was $100,000 in profit. Thanks for helping me see the light. As soon as you're able to make these type of trades, basic stuff, you know, jump out of, of cryptos and, and move to tether, like you will see your profits compound. And that's where the real money is made in this market. This person said, the most important thing I've learned since joining the group is patience. This has led to a 4x gain on my entire portfolio. If you guys are tired of working for the man, if you're tired of working for somebody else, you're ready to quit your day job, I can help you. I can teach you all these ideas. Right now, if you sign up and you pay in crypto for six months or 12 months, it's 50% off. Go to my website for more information, cryptorev.net. Make sure to follow me over on TikTok. I've been posting some videos today, some real quick video updates. A lot of people are very glad to get these updates throughout the day. As an example, uh, you can see this video from earlier. I want to take a look at the Bitcoin six hour chart with you. So Bitcoin previously right here, you can see Bitcoin ran, you know, from 20,000 up to about $34,400 level. Okay, so there's a lot of resistance at this $34,400 level. So even though the measured mood target on the 15 minute time frame is 37,000, the bulls have to break above 34,400 for bullish continuation. This could be a bearish retest. Follow me over there at Crypto Bitcoin Chris. Bitcoin on the 15 minute chart, really short time frame, but we're looking for some type of a re reversal idea. Because part of like dollar cost averaging, you know, buying these dips, I mean, if you would have bought this dip, essentially it would have just rolled back over and you'd be in losses, right? So when you buy a dip, you have to understand, okay, go to, the, you know, draw some basic patterns. If you, at this point, I don't know if this falling wedge was developed enough to even have this upper trend line, but by here you did. So let's say you bought this dip and it rolled over. This dip, you would essentially buy more, twice as much. And then when it comes up here, you see it start to get rejected. I mean, you could, you got to be able to flip and, and sell and, and sell your Bitcoin, right? And so you see these continuations. I mean, you, you can keep buying these dips, but when you make a couple good plays here, you can make a ton of money. There's a, there's a couple good $3,000 swings today that, that I did real well on. You know, the best thing about volatility is, is it makes good trading. So the 15 minute time frame, this falling wedge, falling channel, broke out to the upside. Look, you got volume right here, volume confirmation. And then now it's broke out. Now it's hit this critical resistance level that we've been talking about. Okay, so now can the bulls break above here? If so, there's a lot of upside potential. You know, 37,000 is the measured move. But what's going to happen is you also get some market structure put in this area. And so we can kind of have a, a better idea of what's going to happen with the price action over time. A rejection here and you're looking for continuation to the downside. Asia's waking up in a couple hours. You got a daily candle closing in about an hour. So there's a lot of things that are about to happen. Is Asia gonna wake up and say, hey, Bitcoin pulled back 28%, hit my first target. Will we see target number two, 25,900 or 22,000? These are just based on FIB retracement levels. By bull run standards, these would be pretty deep retraces, but you need to be aware of what's possible in this market. These are CME gaps, and I really, I don't even look at these gaps anymore. Why? Because, like, how, how do you trade this? Like, there's, there's a gap up here near $40,000, and there's a gap down here around $25,000. Okay, well, where are we going first? Do gaps get filled? Do all gaps get filled? I mean, there's still a gap around 19,500 that's not filled. I'd say the, the gaps, the gap ideas, gap boys, I think this messes me up more than anything in trading. Like uh, news is another, like it's so unpredictable. Like I can trade these charts a lot better than I could trade news, these gaps, you know, so I really just focus on trading the price action. But just so you know, there's a gap up here, 40,000, which I definitely think we're going to break $40,000 Bitcoin again. So I think this gap will get filled. What about this $25,000 gap below the price action? Do you think we're going to fill this in the comment section? Let me know. Do you think you're going to fill that gap 
Are we going to revisit that price for Bitcoin? Ethereum got completely destroyed. Imagine that $1,350 Ethereum almost dropped down to actually about $910. 910 did you buy this dip is this the bottom a lot of people are calling for lower numbers 700 750 8. ethereum usdt we talked about this yesterday we had this breakout to the downside we were talking about a target right over in this area about 10,050. actually ethereum fell down to about 908 dollars now it's bounced it's considerably moved moved higher since then it's up to 1073 so this is valus vlx so they're expanding on the Solana SOL blockchain. Solana's had uh, some amazing price action before this pullback. They're also in introducing Ethereum compatibility as far as Valus goes. Solana's supposed to be really fast, 65,000 transactions per, per second. So Valus is gonna expand the Solana code base in order to obtain and leverage one of the fastest blockchain frameworks in the entire crypto industry. Valus recently launched its 3.0 ecosystem which includes BitOrbit, which is a decentralized social media platform, and Valus Wallet, multi-currency crypto storage instrument. The new blockchain system by Valus supports compatibility with Ethereum Virtual Machine, EVM. So as a result, you'll see all the Ethereum-based decentralized applications or dApps and decentralized financial protocols, DeFi, can be run seamlessly on Valus. So one to watch out for, VLX. Bitcoin's recent correction could be retail driven. I agree. A lot of retail, and they always do, they fumble into the top. They fumble into the top. Every run up, they get wrecked. And so what happens when you're losing, when you just bought a tremendous amount of Bitcoin and you see a 28% pullback, you're selling if you're retail. If you don't understand that in this market, this is a market where you got to be able to stomach a 30% pullback if you can't, you don't deserve 3,000% profits because that's what's coming. Buy the dips that make you sick. Buy the dips that scare you. Bitcoin's active addresses, trading volumes now at all-time highs. Like There's a lot of things happening now that we haven't seen since 2017 bull run. Very good for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Walmart is unveiling a new fintech startup. Uh, the, the idea here is people are speculating that they'll be using some type of blockchain or, or possibly even create a stable coin. A lot of the details weren't really mentioned in this article, but can you imagine Walmart incorporating some type of cryptocurrency or blockchain into its financial driven business that they offer, you know, in every store, whether it be wire transfer, you know, money transfer, Walmart to Walmart, etc. CNBC's Jim Cramer says he won't buy Bitcoin above 20,000 following a 20% crash. My question is, do you think you'll ever get Bitcoin if he's not willing to buy it above 20,000? Will we ever see $20,000 Bitcoin again? Mark Cuban says crypto is exactly like the internet stock bubble. Bubble maybe, but the important thing is to recognize that, hey, yeah, we're gonna have this amazing run up and then it's gonna pull back at some point. I mean, it's it's we're, we're going through a pullback right now but at the end of this bull run, you'll see a pullback of, you know, 85% out of Bitcoin. It'll be disastrous for people that didn't sell the top. But again, I, I think this is coming years from now. Despite the crash, Bitcoin fundamentals remain stronger than ever. And that's at the end of the day, that's what it is. Like you have to remember that Bitcoin is the future regardless. Bitcoin mining difficulty and hash rates are at all time highs. They're not creating as many Bitcoins. After the halving, they're, they're half the amount of Bitcoins being mined and created, right? So supply has decreased. Clearly, demand has increased and price has exploded. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.